What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of New Parenting Training. Today, uh, we got a baby cam from Same Shop. So this is what Same Cam Baby uh, Monitor, and it has what on device AI baby monitor. Okay, so uh, we got this product for review, and uh, let's unbox it. Oh, okay, and let's up. Uh, so there are like some components here, let me see. So let's open up one by one. Oh, hinges. Okay, this is completely empty. This is for you to put up by the baby's clip. So I guess they do need this uh, part, but there's a big old space in the center here that's been waste. I don't know, maybe they could put something in there instead. All right, so, oh, here comes the bigger box. Same shine, this is the instruction. Thank you for purchasing. Oh, there's a gift code on here for a chance to win a iPhone 11 Pro. Uh, so here's this. Oh, why would they provide a SIM card ejector? That was, hmm, I guess we're gonna find out. <laughs> Let's see what else do they have here. Oh. Upside down. <laughs> All right, so there's nothing here. Here is the baby can. Oh, if I can get it out. Oh, this is very colorful. A little like a uh, alien. <laughs> Okay, so this is all that it comes with. I guess they could use a small box, but I guess this thing is quite long, so that's why they want to have a bigger box, a longer one. But anyway, uh, this is the baby monitor, and uh, let me go set it up and uh, give it a try. All right, so we've been testing out this this little product for about a week now. Overall, I want to tell you, like, we are very impressed about this little machine. And this thing is pretty nice. I mean, I might not be able to pick it up on the camera itself, but the texture is very soft and it has a little spaceship looking feel to it. If you move the camera upward, then you'll be finding this little slot here. This is where the memory card is. So the machine comes with a 16 gig memory card. If you need to eject the car, you just press down and then it comes out, then you can pull it out. The only way you can access the memory card is sticking into a computer in order to access. Even though there's a USB port that can connect to your computer, uh, I tried, but it won't access the memory card this way. Now, initially I was a little bit confused why would they provide you with the SIM card injecting toolkit. So it turns out that there's a reset button on the back. The only way you can access the reset button is using one of those uh, needle looking and then press it down and then hold it down until the machine resets. All right, so let me talk about the installation itself. The installation was pretty simple. They provide you with all the tools that you will need. What you need to do when you put on a clip is to find a flat surface. Make sure you don't do it on a curved surface. It can go either horizontally or vertically, depending on what your preference is. Because our baby is a little bit grown, so he can stand up and grab stuff. So for us, we had to install this outside the crib. Now, the only way we could do that is with a bookshelf. Now, it's a little bit DIY, but it works. Right, so once you have physically installed this camera, next thing you need to do is to download their software. The app is called Sim Home. Uh, you can download from either iPhone or on your Android uh, mobile. The sign-up process is very simple. All you have to do is just do, type in your email and then your password and then reconfirm your password. Once you are inside the app, you need to find the right camera. So this company has four different ones. You just have to look for the baby cam. And once you click that, it will prompt you to the, what the next stage will be, which is to connect this into a wire and then you had to type in your 
uh, home Wi-Fi username and password. So then it will provide you with a QR code. Once it's been hardwired, then you present the QR code in front of the camera. Once this machine pick up the QR code, it will connect to the Wi-Fi network on its own. And once you have done all that, then the machine will uh, try to download the most current firmware. Now just be aware that this does come with music. Now initially, after I have uh, connect this machine to the Wi-Fi, I look into the app itself and there, there was no music. But then after a while, once it's been updated and whatnot, then the music appears. All right, let's talk about the app itself. This app has a lot going on for it. So once you open up the app, you will uh, hit with the page where you can just see a, a screen. If you press the play button, you will see the live view of what's going on. So right now you can see that I'm talking right now. So um, but that's just very simple. If you want to check on your baby, you can just look through that and that will be it. But if you want to have more advanced feature, then you just hit enter. Then now in this page, you can see even more stuff. Of course, the live view is still going to be there, but now you get more feature. If you look down a little bit further, you will see like there's, uh, you can hit record. You can record a video of what's going on with the baby. You hit it again, you can stop. And then you have the taking a photo, it's Photoshop. And then on the third button, there is a microphone. When you hit on it, then you can speak and it will transmit to the baby cam. And then the, uh, if you are sitting in the baby's room, then the baby can hear your voice. And now the fourth button, which is the volume, you can hear, actually hear what's going on inside the room where this baby monitor will be. And the last one is the light bulb. Once you hit the light bulb, light on the baby monitor bottom LED light will light and lit up. So it's not too strong of a light if your baby desire to have a little light on when he or she goes to sleep. So you can turn it off by hitting again. If you look underneath, there is your MP3 playlist. Uh, when you play that, it will automatically play on your baby cam. Remember what I told you about this little SIM card that you can take it out? So what it does is that uh, you can plug it into a computer and then instead of the, just uh, the original music that's downloaded onto the SIM card itself, you can add songs into it. So I have added this thing called Birthday Cake. It's a Hamby 3 uh, music that I found. So if you hit the play button, so now the baby monitor will start playing the music. You hit it again, it was pause or stop. Now underneath, the, that's the daily snapshot. So I'm going to go through some of the advanced feature of this app, which is very unique. For one, that the daily snapshot is one of them. But how do you set up for that? So if you go to the top where you see the sim cam baby, uh, right next to it, you get to see the options. Now this is where things get interesting. Now, if you just scroll down, I'm going to just mention the, the important stuff. I mean, everything else you can go in and mess around with it. For some of the main feature is the device sharing. Oh, this is really, really unique. So for device sharing, it's, re it's really good for you to have when you have a babysitter at home. You can share this app to your babysitter. And then for that time period, uh, your babysitter can monitor your baby via the app. Once the babysitter left then you can discontinue the sharing so therefore if you are out and your babysitter is there everyone can still see what's going on with the baby via the app itself and there's also another great thing is that because right now with the pandemic and whatnot where everyone is at home it's a great way for us to share with our extended family members for them to see our baby at night or in the daytime wherever the the baby is near the baby camp so that's another uh, great feature to have. And then uh, if you just look down, you can see the smile capture. Now that's the AI portion of this uh, app and for this camera. So the smile capture is where the daily snapshot is. I turn it on. So every time that the baby smile toward the camera, where the camera can capture it, every day there will be a picture going to be generated. And then the virtual fencing. Now virtual fencing, 
you can set the alert on and display the virtual fencing now what you need to do is for this thing to work right so you need to have at least three points so setting up one two three and then once you have the three points you can set up more points once you find the desired uh, number of points that you need to make the fence with the area that you want to fence off then you just hit the uh, the check button and then for that for that location every time the baby goes out then you will get an alert so this is very useful so if the toddler rolls out the bed then you will get a notification of it or if you for instance if you put your baby inside a room you set a per perimeter and then if the baby go out of it then you will get a notification then you can go in and check to see what's going on and of course once you get alert camera itself will record a video of it of the alert so then you can just kind of review it to see what's going on so the next one is the sleep tracking for some baby when they are infant stage they always sleep upright so uh, this ai feature tracks the baby's face if the camera sees the baby's face it will know whether or not the baby is sleeping but for us it's kind of hit or miss because our baby likes to sleep on his uh, stomach so the face is always turned away now but every now and then in the middle of the night the ai will be able to capture the sleep pattern and will send us alert now granted we're not going to check on him in the middle of the night if the baby is not crying right but in the morning when we wake up we will see alert that was sent to our phone and then we can check and then we will see uh, oh at a certain time what time the baby was sleeping and so on and so forth and then the crying soothing uh this part is i set it off because uh our baby don't like to hear music when he's sleeping especially when you wake up crying the music doesn't really sue him so i turn that off but for other parents uh, this might work really well because once the baby starts uh, crying then baby cam will start playing whatever music that you store inside your playlist so that way you might not be able to get to your baby in time uh, to sue he or she but then this uh, monitor can be able to do that trick so uh, yeah this, this function is quite useful um, and also because it play anything in mp3 you could potentially record a vo your voice in mp3 and store on here that will work too so it doesn't have to be music per se so yeah those are the the ai function i think is has a lot going for this uh, monitor for those of you who like to keep a, a collage of photos and videos of your baby this is a great little uh, machine to have because it will record <laughs> your baby when uh, he or she is sleeping and then the virtual fencing is a very unique tool that i've never seen in other baby monitor where you can just watch your baby well not you watching the baby but the baby monitor watching your baby uh, in case your baby wander off uh, where he or she not supposed to and send you an alert now everything is stored inside the sim card itself so whenever you get alert and those video or photos that you've been captured you can always download from the sim card itself all right so some of the downside with this baby monitor is that uh, this thing really bugs me for our current baby monitor we can control the baby cam camera itself positioning mechanically meaning that we can just control it by pushing a button and we're not the camera will go up and down side to side but this thing cannot <laughs> you, you kind of have to physically angle the camera for it to shoot at a certain angle and doesn't tell left or right it can only go up and down so that kind of drives me nuts but this is a minor inconvenience uh, because once you set this to a certain angle that you want to you shouldn't need to move it all that much but then every now and then you do want to kind of tilt the camera a little bit to see what's going on on the other side of uh, the crib or the other side of the room and you cannot do that with this camera you have to physically to uh, to change the angle of the camera another thing about uh, this baby cam is that because the whole ai function is based on tracking a human face if you cannot see the baby's face such as sleeping pattern it doesn't really send you an alert or record when it needs to so that's a little bit on the downside because i do like that feature i want to see how long my baby actually sleeps through the night but 
because the fact that our baby likes to sleep face down most of the time or face to the side, if the camera cannot capture the baby's face, it doesn't really do the recording it's supposed to. But overall, I'm really impressed with the design and also the app itself. It does have a lot going on for it. Uh, so yeah, I'm very pleased with this baby camera. Right now, all parents, because they are not living with us, they're able to see what's going on by downloading the app and check it out. Their grandkid sleeping on their own time. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any question, comment down below. And I will also put the product information down in the description below so you can go check it out. All right, until next time, bye.